Hey what's going on welcome back to Dazza and today I have my very first Bernard Manning reaction video on the channel for you and I'm, I'm trying to bring more comedy back to the channel now and in doing that I want I want to bring back some British stand-up comedians as well as other comedians from around the world I just think that that British comedy British stand-up is unrivaled and I, I may change my mind on that the more and more I watch globally but I'm, I'm biased because I'm British but yeah Bernard Manning is not someone that I'm too familiar with. I looked at the thumbnail and he doesn't look familiar by face. So yeah, I'm 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 interested. And obviously the title here is Britain's Funniest Comedian. So personally, I believe that Lee Evans is Britain's funniest comedian. But I I, I may be swayed with this because I don't know. This is the first time watching this man, so. You never know. I'm hoping that I, I am swayed or it's on the fence and I found a comedian that like, I want to watch more and more and more of, but we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I hope you enjoy it. And if you are a fan of Bernard Manning, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if there's any other videos you want me to react to. And also any other comedians, whether they're British or um, non-British, it doesn't matter. Let me know if there's any other comedians you want me to react to as well. And I will add them to the list. But until then, enjoy. Look at this stroppy cunt on the first row. Have you ever seen a lot of that? Oh, it swears. You make a good tramp if you smart your fucking self up a bit. <laughs> Where are you from, this old fella here? Are you gonna... Uncle fucking Remus here. Uncle Fester. <laughs> Them see-through wigs are very nice. Are they expected? Fucking hell. If I had a head like that, I'd have you circumcised. <laughs> What's your job? What do you do? I'm a painter. A painter? What do you paint? Anything. Anything? You want to paint some fucking hairs on your head? <laughs> want to see Pavarotti last week? What a miserable cunt. He doesn't like you joining in, does he? <laughs> if two Jews walking through Glasgow and a big gang of these skinheads come walking towards him and said, look at these bastards here, Morris, we're going to get mugged here. He said, I think we are, I said, I'm fucking sure we are. Anyway, here's that 600 quid here, owe you. <laughs> Fellow up in court, the judge says you're charged with battering your wife to death with a hammer. And a voice at the back of the court shouted, you fucking shit house." And they all went quiet, you know. He says you're also charged with battering your daughter to death with a hammer. And a voice at the back of the court shouted, you lousy bastard. The judge said, well, this can't go on. He says, come here. He says, I can understand you've been a bit upset about this case, but any more outbursts like this, I shall charge you with contempt. Now, what's the idea? He said, well, I lived next door to this bastard for over 20 years, he said. Every time I asked to borrow hammer, he said, I'm fucking going. <laughs> <laughs> them French, I don't fucking trust them, I'll tell you. I went in the cafe over there, I, I said, have you got frog's legs? He said, yes. I said, up in the kitchen and get us a fucking ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Two girls on... The thing is that with comedy like this, like especially like going back in the day, there's, there's a lot of comedy that now nah, you wouldn't get away with, that some comedians obviously don't give a crap, and they do. But yeah, uh, with today's culture... You'd get cancelled very quickly, but it's, some of these are just brilliant. <laughs> Two girls on the cash out at the supermarket. One says, you can always tell the money follows from the single follow. She said, how do you do that? She said, what's this? A fella come up. He said, one mushroom, one egg, one tomato, one slice of bacon, and one tin of beans. She said, you're a single fella, you aren't you? She said, how do you know that? She said, you're a right ugly cunt. <laughs> Well, I joined the foreign legions, you know, how do you get a fuck out here, all this fucking sun like this? He said, the camel, he said, shed number six, I'll boot you for two o'clock tomorrow afternoon. He opened the shed door, this fellow got stuck right over his camel, give it a right fucking. The sergeant said, you dirty bastard, why don't you ride into town like the rest of the fucking lads? <laughs> the inspector going round one of these asylums, the fellow stood up in bed like that. He said, who are you supposed to be? He said, supposed to be, you cunt, he said. I'm Napoleon. He said, who told you that? He says, God. 
the following expert said, I had never told you no such fucking thing. <laughs> Fella walked in a pub with a crocodile, the landlord said, get it out. He said, it does tricks. He says, tricks, you barmy bastard. Get that crocodile out of here. And now, move with the crocodile. He says, you're going to have a thrombosis, you the way you're going on. He said, fucking hell, calm down. Not seen the trick yet, have you? Watch this. Holds the crocodile's mouth like that, put his prick in its mouth like that. Got a bit of wood out of his back pocket and bang, right across the head. And the crocodile went, ow. <laughs> Fucking hell, he said. You've got some bottles to drop like that. He said, I told you it was good, he said. All that fucking screaming and shouting. Anybody in this pub like to try it for 50 quid? This little old woman says, I'll try it, she said, but don't hit me on the fucking head as I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Two Irish girls went down for disability pension, cracking on they was deaf. The first one went in, he says, shut the door behind you. He says, right. He says, fuck off. <laughs> You're not fucking deaf, I've just asked you to shut the door, he shot it right and shut the door. <laughs> out! Get out! On his way out he said to his mate, don't shut that fucking door, he's trying to trick you. <laughs> his mate went in, he said, shut the door behind you, he said, shut it your fucking self. <laughs> English fella lived next door, this pack he had a goose, he laid egg in his garden, he went round. He said, I've come for me goose egg, he said, me goose he's laid egg, he said, oh, no, 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 no. No, the egg belongs to me, he said. The egg is on my land, the egg belongs to me. That is Indian law. He says, give us that fucking egg. <laughs> you know what, honestly, it is a fit. I love accents. I love it when comedians do accents. That pe People are on the fence with it, whether it's like it's racist or it's not racist and things like that. I think it depends on the context of the the accent. But yeah, I mean... For me, like, over the years, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I've never done an accent because I have and I love doing them. Never done in a way to, like, offend anyone or anything, but just, like, in general and just in jest, I love doing different accents. He said, I'm telling you, the egg is on my land, the egg belongs to me. That is Indian law. You will never mind Indian law. We'll have English law just for a fucking change. <laughs> I kick you in the bollocks, you kick me in the bollocks. The one that gives up first owns the egg. <laughs> As long as that's the law, he said. Wouldn't he give me right kicking a bollock? She said, oh, fucking hell, he said. Oh, that fucking smart start, he said. But it's my turn now. He says, keep the fucking egg. <laughs> Fellow going, going back to Ireland, an Irishman going back to Ireland. That's a fucking change, isn't it? <laughs> Got in this taxi at Liverpool, the taxi driver says, it's a long journey to the airport, he said, we'll have a few riddles. He looked in the middle, in the middle he said, uh, brothers and sisters, have I none, but that man's father is my father's son. Who is he? Yeah, he sort of said, uh, I don't know. He said, it's me, isn't it? <laughs> Fuck me, he said, you're right. <laughs> he got back to Ireland, he says to his father, uh, I'll give you a bit of a riddle, he said. Looked in the mirror, he said, uh, Brothers and sisters, have I known, but that man's father is my father's son. Who is it? His father said, How the fuck do I know? <laughs> he said, You ignorant cunt. <laughs> He's a taxi driver in Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> Two eyes, well, he just knock about with his patty, and the patty got knocked down. Killstone there, the cop said, What was his name? He said, We never knew his name, sir. Just used to booze them, you know. He said, Where did he live? He said, No, we knew fuck all about the man, he said. The only thing we knew about him, he had two arseholes. He said, how do you mean? He said, every pub we went in, they used to say, here's that packy with them two arseholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, a lot, a lot of these jokes you wouldn't be able to get away with nowadays. But, yeah, I mean, when it comes to the accents, I love I love doing accents. I love listening to other people doing accents. And like I say, it is, it is something that is borderline. It depends on the context and it depends on how you do it. But, yeah, it's, it's brilliant. And it's not just like he'd, he'd done the, like the Indian accent or the Irish accent and things like that. It's just accents in general. It doesn't matter where from. It could be anywhere in Asia, Africa. It could be anywhere in Europe and things like that. that yeah, for me, like accents are just brilliant. And I really enjoyed him. The, the Britain's funniest comedian is, is a stretch. But he is he is really funny, and it's nice to actually see, like, to watch a comedian that, like, from 
back in the day he gave me sort of like jimmy joan vibes or we're a chubby brown vibes and things like that and these are the sort of comedians i want to go back and watch more of especially like the likes of, i love jim davison that like some of his com comedy that he does i went to see him live in south end like many moons ago and he was just absolutely brilliant and then i love things like cinderella that jimmy jones and murray chubby brown these are comedians that i really really do enjoy listening to as well so yeah so i, I want to bring more of them to the channel and that's where you guys come in if there's any other comedians that you want me to react to please do let me know in the comments down below but until then thank you for watching take it easy have a nice day stay safe be kind and i will see you in the next one